Or you guys, listen to this. I made this too. Oh my god, you're stressing my guy out, James. Welcome to the shadows of Doskful, where darkness clings to every cobblestone and secrets fester in the alleys. In this broken, haunted world, the sun is but a distant memory relegated to storybooks. The heavens shattered eight centuries ago, leaving us adrift on fragments of old worlds. Ghosts, restless and vengeful, roam the streets, their ethereal forms kept at bay by the city's humming electrical fields. You are the daring few, the scoundrels who defy or outright ignore the oppressive regime of the immortal emperor. Your crew, a motley assembly of misfits, thieves, and visionaries, strives to thrive amidst the teeming threats that surround you. Here, every score is a gamble, every heist a dance with fate rise as legends or be swallowed by the abyss. The districts pulse with life. Six towers where the elite sip wine in decadent mansions. Coal Ridge where smokestacks belch forth industry and despair. And the docks where smugglers and sailors trade secrets under the watchful eyes of leviathan hunting electroplasm ships. The Iron Hook prison looms, its black spires piercing the sky. Within its walls the damned serve their sentences their souls etched with inked sigils that bind them to labor. But even here, whispers of rebellion echo, a spark that could ignite the powder keg of revolution. The spirit wardens, grim wardens of the veil between life and death, patrol the streets and the skies. Their electroplasmic lanterns flicker, revealing the spectral remnants of those who met violent ends. They hunt rogue ghosts, lest they breach the barriers and unleash chaos upon the living. While the city's factions, Red Sashes, Lamp Blacks, and Crows, and many more, vie for dominance, their rivalries etched in blood. The Forgotten Gods, ancient and hungry, whisper promises of power to those who dare invoke their names. Their cults gather in hidden chambers, their rituals fueled by forbidden artifacts and desperate faith. But beware, the gods demand payment, and their debts are steep. And then there's the Void Sea, an expanse of inky blackness beyond the city's edge, where sailors speak of ghost ships, lost islands, and forgotten treasures. Home to the demonic leviathans hunted for their lifeblood, the fuel of the Imperium. But few return from those depths unscathed, their minds haunted by eldritch visions. Remember, Duskfall is a hungry beast, and it devours the timid. Fortune favors the bold, the shadows conceal both opportunity and peril. Welcome to the game, where the stakes are high, and the cost of failure is measured in blood and echoes. May your lantern burn bright, for the night is long in the city that never sleeps. The city awaits your mark, blades in the dark. In the dark. What? That's so lame. What? Nice. It was cool. Cool. There you yeah, go. That's, that's a little flavor text stuff <laughs> going on.
Uh, my CPU is at like a hundred percent. Oh my... yeah. <laughs> so if your computer blows up while we're playing tonight, All right? I just guess uh, I'd have to buy a new one, huh? Well, let's start off by Speaking introducing reason. your characters, and then we'll get on to crew creation in this game. Oh, well, you can go last. Should we take a five minute break and, <laughs> and think of voices? A five minute break, five minutes into the game. <sighs> yes. I've only been on for an hour See you guys prior. Next week. Well, yeah, it's basically the first intermission out of our three hour tour. That's true. <laughs> three hour tour. Three hour tour. That's exactly what I would too. <laughs> what is this? Did, did this happen to everyone else? What? What up, what's up? Stage. Dog. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, yeah, stage. that's a good idea. Put put me up. Put me on stage. Put you on stage. Here you go. You ready? Okay. Freak. Do you just want me to... <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. When I have my that over, I can't see. And my feelings. There we go. So are we doing like a... Uh, what's the... Tarantino movie where they're all eating breakfast. Uh, no, uh, it's uh, Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, Reservoir Dogs. That's the one. So we're doing that yeah. kind of thing. I uh, no, I haven't seen that movie in too long to know what you're talking about. I don't about. believe in tipping. Yeah, that part exactly. <laughs> all right, never mind then. Okay. So my dude's name is Cricket. He was born on the Isles of Dagger Isles, the islands. Uh, his name, is, his real name is Joran, but I picked the alias for him. He was left orphaned at a young age, and he was raised in the cramped confines of a seaside orphanage, where after he came of age, he wanted to really leave to find adventure. And he did so and joined a slaver gang. And then after a while, he decided that that wasn't his deal. So he left to Duskwall, where tales of riches and dangers awaited. Uh, he's a hunter. Because he hunted slaves, and that skill is now transferred into hunting people in Duskwall. He likes to gamble at the fighting pits. His uh, homie, who he gambles with, is Sergeant Velk. He has a rival named Steiner, who's an assassin, who he screwed up a few assassin uh, pl assassin plan they had, and now they're rivals with each other. And uh, he's got a best friend, Joran, who is a bounty hunter who saved his life. And now he Joran feels like he owes him a debt. Um... Uh, let's get to my beliefs. I believe that the world is uh, in this harsh reality that strength and cunning are essential for survival. I've seen too many fall to weakness or naivety. Uh, to, and knows that there is only, only the resilient can carve out a path for themselves in these unforgiving streets. I've grown up in a world of deception and portrayal, so I'm very cautious about trusting others. Nice and edgy. I believe that trust must be earned through actions, not words. Um, Duskwall is uh, is like a living, breathing beast with its own rules and rhythms, and i have trying to learn it. And I know that everyone in here has a price, and that no one could ever escape their past. Shit. It's kind of a summary. All Let's right. cricket for y'all. Good stuff. Someone else can throw themselves up in the cinematic thing. I'm doing something at the moment, actually, but... I will leave the stage. I'm ready to go, but I can go whenever. Step on up, dude. Somebody jump up. Alright. <clears throat> uh, my name is uh, Leonard Leopoldus Maximus IV, and uh, I'm uh, on the run from my hometown of Lockport, Scovland, and I'm uh, part of a part of a uh, powerful crime family, and something went awry, 
and I had to flee to a foreign area, and that's why I'm here. Um, oh, I I'm a lover of smoking the spark and cigars, and that is mostly what I do in my free time, is get high and smoke. <laughs> Sweet. Sounds like an interesting guy. <laughs> um, my, my family is well-connected, and I was trained as a lawyer to be their, uh, the family lawyer for our business, but... Um, you know, and it's also what I do if I'm not on the run. So, so at the end, that's me. Perfect. All right. I will go. Let's hear it, bro. My name is Toa Watere. I grew up the son of an aristocrat had a pretty easy life um just kind of the son of an ambassador essentially uh got bored and wanted wanted something more wanted some more excitement uh i used my connections to find a spot for myself at Doxfall and live a relatively comfortable life trying to find uh opportunity and jobs and my belief is that um the only things that matter are wealth and glory i want to live like a king I want to live lavishly and well, and that's all I care about. Um, yeah. You're from Tykerosi? Yeah, I'm from Tykeros. Oh. What's Tykeros like? Tykeros is like, is that the far off distant land yeah. where, so. It's a mystical place. <laughs> so um, in, in the lore, people believe that Tykerosi have demons blood in them and that they carry demonic traits like they might have pure black eyes or tails or like horse hooves and things like that you know just strange traits but that might also be uh, not true it might just be you know like fear mongering of this different mm. culture so is does your person have a demonic trait or is is there a pretty heavy stigma towards that? Or is it? Or yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a, like stigma, stigma because guy. demons and ghosts are like highly feared, and they supposedly come from this land that you know they intermingled with demons, essentially. I'm just a regular okay. dude. No just a regular dude. Fair enough. Nice. It's a regular just a, dude that's gonna just, be rich. A regular dude is obsessed with getting rich. Cool. So I think we've established in the lore that at least some Tykerosi are just normal people and they don't carry demonic traits. That doesn't mean all of them right now. We'll see what happens. It's not me. Not you. All right, so... We'll pick out more information. And, and, the and for, for little Leo, Scovlanders were the last people to be taken into the Imperium and they are, like, imagine, like, the Irish... They're like the Irish, but like what is that supposed to mean? Treated far worse, like in oh. early United <laughs> States history. Uh, yeah, if if you, I do look like a foreigner, like I got brown skinish. Say that you know, or you can tell. Say the different, but I do try to blind. I dyed my hair to try to blend into the locals, so I got blonde. Okay, hair. so you're like trying to avoid your your heritage yeah, exactly, to blend yeah. in more. Fair enough. So I'm not yeah. a natural blonde. And same with the Dagger Isles. That's obviously not part of Dustfall. That's a little chain of island far away from Dustfall. And you you probably have like a darker complexion. You know, you're definitely like a piratey would be the best way to describe Cricket Ooh. as far as characteristics and whatnot. And he doesn't have to be. He could also be, you know, have no. uh, taken on more characteristics of Akaros. Akaros is where you guys are now. No, I'm not. Uh, Dust I was shooting for a pirate, for sure. Okay, for sure. So, Akaros is... Dustfall is on the tip of Akaros, and that's, like, the main land of the Imperium. Uh, that leaves Chucky and Coil. How did we all get here? Like, Chucky, we all meeting up because, like, we know a contact? Or... Uh, well, that'll be established when you... I mean, you guys pick some, but oh. you guys will create your crew and... Where there. you guys are at, and you guys can come to that conclusion once you make your crew and pick your contacts and whatnot, how you guys met, maybe your old friends, etc. But we'll go through with the uh, introductions. So, 
How about Chucky? Well, this kid toy is here. Fucking A. Um. <laughs> That's what my family Generational. Just wasting away in smoke factory. They never understood why I really jobs. Why I didn't his fingers in the factory. Never found out exactly how the fuck how they really I never had awesome. In my way up north. I'm sick of living. Heard of years spent in factory. Prop up the oligarchy. People lose fingers and as long as they're good luck now. Factory is passion of the singing member. Stinging member. <laughs> I'm I'm off to bed. I'm Chucky. How how did Chucky get three giant scars across his face? Was that Every, an industrial accident? Okay. Yeah. He was so like backstory, he basically just factory. So he literally factory got hurt. Fair enough, just he just kinda of hates and does. Well, that makes sense. Just just seeing. He first moved slumming. It's roommates with Eldrin, Psychonaut. That's what other I thought he was. I think he's a genius. I swear sometimes he gets so friggin' high you can actually see. Yeah, he always had my back. No matter how I've gone his mind. My homie. He also hooked Stupid. That's where I'm I uh Rival Rival is Dotsia the apothecary. Well, everyone. Bring her up. Once upon a time, I had a pet. I loved her. My family. My family are jerks. Died in a factory. She was a beauty. <laughs> One day, my goat got sick. I went to this free stop <laughs> Little did I know, someone wanted to get to me. I don't know if she was paid off or if it's a favor. Whatever medicine Finish off my sweet, sweet girl. Something. There's Tazia if anybody wants to see his. Chaos and fire. <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of her. Oh, there we go. Those are your beliefs? Yeah, Charlesworth Tookers. Chaos and fire. Tookers. <laughs> those are what freed me from the factory. <laughs> I like that you put description as just a steampunk Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's Chucky. End flashback. Present day. God, this is going to be fun. Now I'm looking. That's about it. As long as it's not factory. Happy. All right. Mm. Last but not least, we have Coil the Whisper. All right. Coil the Whisperer from Severus. Merged from the depths of the underworld, a realm where shadows dance and secrets whisper. His journey began in the dimly lit alleys and Calistine meeting spots of Severus, where whispers of the supernatural echoed through the cobblestone streets. Born in the underbelly of the city, Coil learned the art of survival amidst the chaos and danger that lurked in every corner. Raised by a mentor whose name was whispered in hushed tones, Quail honed his skills in the art, arcane arts, delving into the forbidden knowledge of the spirit world. 
With each incantation and ritual, he delved deeper into the mysteries that shrouded Severus, unraveling the secrets of the ghosts that haunted its shadows. As a ghost hunter, Quail became adept at navigating the veil between the living and the dead. He learned the chan to channel the energies of the spirit realm, building them as weapons against the supernatural threats that plague Zeros. His reputation grew, and eventually met tragedy where he was cast from Severus and ended up here in Dustfall. Uh, one of his best friends is Nerix, who is dead but is now a ghost, which now he spends a lot of his time talking to the undead. Uh, but his journey is far from over. Every ghost he lays to rest, new mysteries arise, beckoning him further into the darkness. That's all I got. So he's, he, he's like a, a a renegade spirit warden, basically, because that's their job, is to like yeah. make sure that when the, the when people die in... Um, in Dustfall or the Shattered Isle, mostly Dustfall though, bodies are cremated because if they're left, if they're buried or if they're left around, it gives time for the electroplasm to manifest and pull out of the body. And that's like what the angry spirits are that roam the city. Jesus. So, so oh killing God. people normally results in more trouble unless they're dealt with properly. Because then you have an angry spirit. But it's good to have a, a ghost uh, hunter on your side if that is the case, because they have tools and abilities to lay creatures to rest and or capture them and keep them in little little tubes and stuff. Um, the, okay. There's a there's the material world and then there's the ghost field and that's basically he said he could step inside of it that's a different part of the game you can use tools to get into the ghost field it's always very like shattered and like millions of doors you know very eldritch unnatural horror kind of feel when you go in there you're never sure what's going to be in there and oftentimes it's not good to stay in long you're not welcome so that's that all right, you guys all introduce your characters. Cool, cool. You guys have a very balanced party. Hound, Spider, Whisper, Leech, Slide. Uh, if everyone wants to click the Create Crew Sheet. Oh, we all went. Nice, perfect. Click We're Start. The and then, regardless of how the crew comes to be formed, they all have one thing in common. They exist to create a legacy that will last beyond the founding members. When you start a crew with your partners, you intend to build something that hopefully will live on past the scope of your own criminal, criminal careers. This is why we have separate character sheets for the crew, tracking its development, growth, and influence. So, as your characters come and go, the crew will always exist. That's kind of the main idea of this game is... And also your characters can die and, you know, stay within the game. You can come back as ghosts. You know, maybe your crew grabs your body and hides you from the spirit wardens and allows you to manifest, or they can put your soul into hulls. You can become vampires and stuff like that. After you become a ghost, you can find a body to attach onto and suck the life out of it until you're just a walking shell, basically. Uh, anywho, but so now we can click on type. And you guys can kind of, you've been talking it over quite a bit, but my pick. Name, my name is Chucky. I think we <laughs> Yeah, I want to be a hawker. I think hawking is good. Hawking's the one to go with, right? And also, I think we should name. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. <laughs> so you guys chose hawkers yeah uh, yes yep so uh so your reputation this everyone, is cool one of those... everyone go one by one i'm i don't cool even see hawkers i see like... assassins bravos cult oh there's hawkers okay <laughs> the one highlighted yeah, I mean, it's a cool. Dude, has Anybody not want to do this? Just would just rather do. Soldier horses, Chucky. Others. Um, I mean, 
Okay, I think Bravos would be better, but that's me. Mercenaries and thugs. But I'm okay with hawkers. We can do that. I mean, you guys don't even have a cutter in your group. I don't know if you'd choose to be Bravos. Right. As as far as it goes. You guys are pretty... I mean, you could be, though. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying as far as... As far as the party makeup, you're not really fit to be mercenaries and thugs. Is there shadows or bravos I think would be a better fit? Is it delta green ish with like how often you lose characters? No, no, no. Okay. Uh it's it's up to you whether your character go I mean your character can die outright, but when you're in scores there's resistance. So if you take a level four harm, you can resist and what you do is you take you take six stress automatically, but you roll a dice, and if you roll a six on the dice, you take zero stress, and it reduces the effect. So you could potentially take a life-threatening wound and just get rid of it immediately. Oh, okay. There's a lot of things you can do in this game to keep from dying, and then if you do die, like I said, you can come back as a ghost or have your body put into an automaton, or your, not your body, but your your electroplasmic soul put into an automaton or things like that. And... You never really have to give up your character, but say they're, you know, like your character's views conflict with the, the rest of the party and it's not working out. Your character can go off and start their own crew even and you can be like, okay, come up randomly throughout the game as like, you know, someone that does villainous things to him and have a new character that goes along with the ideals of the party. But so... As far as your crew type, though, right? You most of you guys said hawkers. Alex didn't say anything, and Will says bravos or shadows. But the reality of it is, is that no matter what crew type you take, you're going to be probably delving into oh, all muted these myself. things. They overlap, huh. right? Yeah. How long have I been muted? I wonder. So, like, say you become hawkers, you guys probably don't have a place to sell drugs off the bat. You know, you'd have to take turf from someone to get your. Yeah, or okay. you'd have to okay. you'd have to find a source all those that things. If you want. Yeah, you guys can always change your crew type depending on what way you go. Maybe I think you guys you, a you guys should uh, democratically just vote on what you want right now. And even if someone doesn't yeah. totally agree, once again, right. that's the point where you yeah. maybe a make vote, a different character voting. or etc. You know, rank I mean, choice I vote, vote or I vote, what? I vote for Bravos. That's me though. Okay. More I want to do smuggling. To start off with. Okay. Bravos, Hawkers. smuggling. Hawkers. 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 I would also be down. They're, they all look fun, you guys. I really don't care. I don't either. Uh, I'll throw I my vote towards Hawkers. If cult, I'd want to do like a. If we're going to do the cult, I'd want to do like a religious nut job, though. Let's just, uh, we'll th- I'll throw it in. Let's just go Hawkers. Okay. Yeah, Majority and like rules. I said, you guys are going to get to do Bravos-like things. You know, there's probably going to be smash and grabs where you, ha- like, say you want someone's den, you can go that Bravos way and get there. Uh, Hawkers just, you know, when you're doing a, when you're doing a score that involves you selling or, you know, doing that kind of stuff, you get bonus experience. It's really just all RP based. You're going to get to do all this stuff at some point. And if you decide that you like doing one score more than another, you can switch to you know, maybe you started off as drug dealers, dealers and you learned it was much more lucrative and you were much better at being mercenaries and thugs. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, Makes sense. Gang, gangs change their identities. Yeah, right. that's, or we're like, hey, that was fun. Let's keep doing that. Yeah, exactly. We made a lot we're of be- money. We're, we're much better at that, and that paid better. So, All right, so Hawkers to start. Reputation, this is... Uh, ambitious, I'm probably. Ambitious. Yeah. yeah. Down with that. No. <laughs> Where? Where? We're both just no immediate. Yeah, I want to know. Please let him talk. Is Hawkers right of it? Yeah. It opens... It opens a wiki to it, oh, and it gives you, you all sir. the information. Thank It'll, you. That's really, wiki, really you know. nice to see. Yeah, like cool <laughs> you didn't know that? No. 
that all that'll pop no, up as you're going what, along the, no, the page. Him, him we're talking about something entirely different. Uh, they're talking about the Galo Wiki links. No, they're talking about the like the the crew like page. The, like, it's like a character page, but for the crew. Oh. So. Let's uh, start off with one special ability, but let's that you you're gonna go through all that as you advance oh, along right these here. these okay. tabs anyway. So let's go to reputation again and just continue on. Ambitious. So you guys you guys said ambitious. That means you guys want to try to like do things above your pay grade and your tier. And if you take on higher ranking uh, factions, you're gonna get bonus experience. So, Daring. I don't know if we're ready for that. What about? <laughs> Strange, right de strange means that your whisper is going to do weird stuff to try to advance you guys. It might involve like It'd demons be like being me, summoned yeah. and terrible things befalling the if world. If we're doing that, then let's go back. What's yeah, yeah. What's let's go back to the cult thing. Then is that a serious that. question, or are we just going to say this about everyone now? No, I mean, so <laughs> okay. like professional. It doesn't. Professional, keep, yeah, it doesn't do they like, change? Does it change anything? Is what I'm wondering. <laughs> It, you get bonus experience if you play it out professionally. So you go about this with a really highly established uh, plan and you execute it to a T. That would be okay. professional. I'm thinking we're um, ambitious since we don't have anybody that's a dealer. I like <laughs> ambitious. I like it too, but I don't know. We have to overachieve then. And I don't know if we're ready for that. <laughs> of course we are. Aren't we overachieving by I'm not so having ready. a dealer? No, that's just us. Like that's like us giving it, but that's not literally us like choosing a yeah. level two quest. Yeah. I, I think one. let's vote. Like let's vote. I, like I could go with daring. I, I'm okay with okay. daring. Daring, daring's, daring's good. Daring's pretty similar to ambitious, but you probably just go about your scores much more. Uh, Reckless. You know, you, Brazen, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so we're gonna do the same thing for less reward. <laughs> Instead of unlocking the front door, you guys are gonna tie ropes around your legs and sling down through the ceiling unnecessarily and like Mission Impossible know. shit. Let's yeah, do exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Saints. Why'd you bring the rope? Why'd you bring the rope? <laughs> I, I told you bring you the rope. Made it. You and this fucking rope. <laughs> All right, yes, we're daring. Daring, okay. We're settled. Next next option. Layer, layer. Uh, so yeah. this is this is telling you. Which, I mean, obviously, what you district like you're in. Uh, so the docks. I vote the docks, just because I like the ocean. My guy's an ocean guy. The docks. Maybe uh, my guy hates the ocean. Did you ever I think of that? <laughs> just saying, that's my vote. <laughs> just so, my vote. So as far as your layer, like you guys can choose your district, but beyond that, um, you so your crew just formed a core to lay a layer. Given the group of characters, their previous ex escapades, what initial reputation would you have? Oh, you guys chose that. Also, what where your crew makes its layer? You begin at tier zero, so it's probably very modest, abandoned sort of place. Um, you could have a half sunken grotto in the maze like underground canals of the city, an abandoned watchtower. Unassuming back rooms of a merchant's shop, small abandoned house, rickety tin roof shack, junked rail car. I assume all these on here kind of are different examples of that in different districts. Yeah, about yeah, the night like six towers. Uh, hunting grounds is is where you choose to do. You pay someone off so that you can actively. You know, what is, go about business is, without upsetting anyone. Hey, let's more. go to a district that doesn't have a lot of gangs in it. Barrel what Cleft is nobody. What like was the night market? Towers, like? towers. Night night market would be a good place to be. That's commercial like the district. commercial oh, markets, yeah. uh, underground yeah. clubs. If and we're then even if you... we're gonna be. Let's get to. Where, no, where, the clubs, where are the clubs at? Because we're going to be hawking fucking Spark, dude. I don't know. It was it's Barrow Cleft is an open-air market, famous for a rare, uh, famous as a rare place for fair trade in the city, free of criminal influence. Maybe we could get right in there. <laughs> it says fruit. dusty, dusty rural nah, district dude, of go. clannish farming communities. All right, fine. I don't want Maybe to go to Northrop. I don't want to go to Night Market. 
Let's go to Char Hollow, Hollow then, then. I vote Night Market. That's I, I, my Night Market. Okay. <laughs> All right, Night Market's cool then. Night That's Night fine. As that seems pretty neat. It for is us. dominated by what, commerce. Oh, oh, so click Night Market, and then what? What does your layer look like? It is it a half sunken grotto, an abandoned watchtower, unassuming back rooms of a shop that exists in Night Market? Uh, hey, abandoned... wait! It's it's situated it's, near a rail station. We should be in an abandoned rail car. Okay, so a junked out rail car. Uh, you guys cool the, with that? the back room. Oh, of a. Speaky. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm cool uh, with the back. What kind of? Yeah. What kind of room. business is it? It's a lounge, like what Colton said, like a speakeasy. Like an, it's like a like lounge. A, oh, yeah. dude, it's like, like an open, thing. opium yeah. bed. Oh, uh, a, a spark oh yeah, like a, a spark bed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be yeah. perfect for us to be drug dealers, right? Is that make sense? Yeah. Can we do that? I love that. Uh, that's not to bed. say that you. That's not to say that that you guys own or have any pull oh, at that place. Right. They just Come allow on. you to hang out oh, yeah. there. Like, we operate out of there. I Not sure yet. Like a ghetto Step one is what you're saying, like James. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. I'm oh, sorry, Colton. I can really hear you. I gotta turn you up. Yeah, you're real quiet, Colton. You're right. I actually have you set at 200. Just yeah, I have him at 200 in Discord, and he's still pretty quiet. Yeah. Same here. Definitely the quietest on my feed, but I can hear him fine most parts, unless everyone's talking. Uh, Same. So now right. you guys choose your hunting grounds. Where I mean, you guys can choose a an area in Night Market too. Uh, there's going to be factions that you're going to have to. Should we claim Night Market as our own boys? A district down there, dude. I mean, that would make. You definitely sense, don't right? get an entire district. You get a small like block radius of it, or a couple blocks. Every time yeah. you see something, I bro, thought, I'm talking about I'm talking I about this like, was our game, dude. Eat. I thought we could do whatever we wanted. Camera. We're gonna take this whole entire oh. district and run it. Do I sound better now? Yes. Yep. Yeah. I had my mic turned down for guitar our record. Uh, I'm I'm fine with night market. Yeah, I'm cool. With yeah, I'm Ooh. fine with that. Actually, I don't know because he said we don't get the whole. Right, you get a block. Whole, it says. You don't get the whole. Is it right in the description to the left? There's you can two pay gangs. After a coin or the whatever. GM chooses who gets to stay. Two gang, two gangs are operating in this district already. Whoops. Your crew is brand new, but you have chosen some small part of a district as your hunting grounds. This is the area you usually target for your scores, and you know it well. Your hunting grounds don't have to be in the same district as your lair. The area is small, only three or four city blocks, but it's. An intrusion on someone. The entire city is divided among larger, stronger factions. The GM will tell you which faction claims the area, then you decide how you deal with them. Pay them off, give them one coin in exchange for giving you room to work. Pay them two coin as a show of respect to gain one status. Keep your money and take minus one status with that faction. Dude, we should start off strong, give them two Yeah, coins. I say we black start blackmailing them. Good idea. Give them some money. I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> I was it blackmailing them to give us wait? Or I meant let them. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, we get, we get on their good side, <laughs> yeah. and then later on we fuck them up. Yep. Okay, I so like is our wait? Where's our hunting? <laughs> is our hunting ground going to be right? Do we shit where we sleep? Are we going to yep. hunt in the night market? Yeah. Or it makes it easier. I eat my shit. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah. That could be the name of our crew. <laughs> I mean, we got to start small, right? So we're going to start eaters. selling in the den. <laughs> In the spark den that we have the back room to, you know, it'll move out from there. We gave the local gang an extra coin. So yeah, they the, the counterpoint. Okay. The counterpoint okay. is if we can lock down this territory, it's going to be the safest one for us. It's a rich know? area, so it's probably great and to sell I mean, drugs. It's just a matter of foothold is, and, and we're selling also... spark right, and we're in a spark den. We might as well bribe this shop owner with that one coin to have their space. Coin. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. We're bribing the gang, not the shop owner. Okay, well, maybe this gang our... owns the shop. What's our ability not here? Sell drugs in a shop that another gang owns. <laughs> that's that's crazy. What's, what's the faction that's? In uh, the... the faction Pick will be cool. the hive. They are. Ooh, that sounds. <laughs> the hive is a group of anonymous smugglers. A guild of merchants who secretly trade in contraband. Name for the symbol: a golden bee. 
It would make perfect RP sense why we would have them be the people we paid. Yeah, why is that well, maybe we can just they like, get us their they get us our drugs. I think I think you guys start off with four coin and I'm gonna say there are more things that you have to put coin oh. towards and it could but affect I say we do it. one so we can operate out of it like we're doing. Pay them off, give them one coin to exchange for giving Yeah. Giving that's fine. I don't care about that. Yep. So you I start at a zero with them. They're not they unhappy give with us, you. They, they give us a few blocks. This It said our hunting ground is like three or four blocks. Yep. They basically just say, like, don't step on our toes. Keep to your keep to your section, and we'll have no issue. Then I tell them about how that lady Nothing killed my wife. goat. Because I just tell everyone that when I meet them. <laughs> like, you know, what's your face? Did you poison my goat? <laughs> Uh, no. Never, never met her. Never met her. <laughs> okay, so All what right. ability would you guys like to choose? <laughs> on the list on ability now? Let me go <laughs> <on there. laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <Kill my goat. laughs> There's so many. <laughs> Oh, I think ghost, man, ghost market sounds Let's, pretty good. Everyone okay, so, just vote so for all, the good stuff because that's probably always, what we're gonna pick. I like <laughs> before before you guys start looking through them, the first one is always just like the the one that makes the most sense to start off with, the, the easiest one for everyone. Not saying you have to take that one. I'm just saying that one's like the you know like middle ground one where it baby. makes Throw that one. Yeah, away. I actually kind of like it. Silver tongue. <laughs> I like Dalton. Oh, Ooh, hey, how about the good I stuff? Like silver, I like you're Silver good. Tongue, but I know we're all going to pick the good stuff. No, the good stuff for sure. Your version is pretty exquisite. good. <laughs> See, and I like Ghost Dalton. Market. Dude, I like, That's my character. I like the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, we should, yeah, the good stuff is sleep getting me. <laughs> that our, all of our gang is hooked on our own drugs. Yeah, it might be kind of sweet, too. <laughs> I don't too. mind selling the product to ghosts. <laughs> what is that? What? Why nah. Ghost market. market. What is ghost drugs? Through arcane Wait. ritual, your hard one experience. Maybe. Discord. Maybe so. so <laughs> but if we don't even know what they pay with. We just so, sell demons. No, the, drugs. Oh, don't worry can about can that. talk for a second? <laughs> yes, let James so, go, please. So, like, if you guys did that ghost exist and not all of them are crazed some are like fully functional and they hide within the city and ghosts ride people or inhabit them as vampires basically vampires exist in this game but they're not you know like bats that suck blood it's ghosts that have taken over a, a mortal body and shunted that soul out and they suck the life force out of the body and then they exist eternally in that body until it like gets broken and then they move on to a new one so you could find people like that. Otherwise, maybe in this game you can take long-term projects, and one could be to refine a, refine a version of Spark that you know, like ghosts get off on. Uh, I don't want to do that. In my main abilities, <laughs> I, I'm always aware of ghosts around me. It's gonna this be useful. Guy keeps talking about ghosts. <laughs> It'd be weird. What would be better is having way. Cool drugs for living people, or to sell some drugs to some dead. Well, okay, then accord, I'd say, or it, I mean, good stuff. Good. I'm okay with the good stuff. The or... good stuff. I like the good stuff. I like the, the thought stuff. of people, okay, like random people we meet being hooked on our drugs already. So hawkers, hawkers stuff up at the top. Um, what what is your guys' crew's name? What what do you guys go by? Oof, this is gonna Idiot. be tough. Dalton hawkers, <laughs> shit eaters. <laughs> um. The hawkers. The hawkers. <laughs> Classic. Uh, no, I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not. What kind of flavor are we going for? Yeah, you guys don't have to sell. <laughs> you guys don't have to sell Spark either. Make it, maybe you guys. Um, so in this game, there's obviously no real sunlight, but the, they use electroplasm to create um, like lit farms. Basically, the electroplasm they turn into these these sun lamps that they make. Uh, these small farms with that can grow stuff. Maybe you guys had, you know, at some point 
stumbled across a farmer that had a new kind of drug that's not spark and yeah, you guys we, got your hands on that if we that's um, way less cool than spark i don't care what you say if we call yeah ourselves, spark's, way spark's cooler. fun the name is fun <laughs> what if we call ourselves oh sh i forgot because james <laughs> got mad at me wait um uh electrogasm I like okay <laughs> i don't mind it electrogasm <laughs> it is <laughs> <laughs> the electrogasm crew. <laughs> nice. Because we got the good stuff. Because that's what's, it's what's going to happen. Yeah. You get it, dude. Nah. If you do Spark, you get it. You guys named named your crew after your name brand. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're like Kleenex. Yeah. So, so when we sell it, it just says electrogasm on it. Yeah. And there's like a person it's got to get on it. It's, like, stamped, it's stamped with EG. Yeah, and no matter how much, <laughs> no matter how much we cut it, we your 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 clientele is gonna know if you start cutting. Don't do that. That's not the good stuff anymore. You... Yeah, we're never gonna do that. No, our stuff's high quality. It's pure. That's yeah. the whole thing. I watched, that's our whole deal. I don't. I watched a TV show about drug busts that was not real, and drug people started selling worse drugs for a while. So that then, when they sell better drugs, people buy more. That's a good idea. I guess it. That's, that's what uh, this on is, TV. <laughs> when I when when I used when I sold drugs, I just figured out I was just sell the best drugs. I think we need to take then people will rigging. buy more. I was also looking at hawkers rigging. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty cool. Yes, I have. That one seems to be the best. I always have. Yeah. We get. I also read that's, we get that's two. Fucking sick, guys. We get to pick two, so we yeah. get. Uh, one one impacts a crew, or a. a a group, how you came across it. The other one helped. I want a fucking boat. <laughs> what? <laughs> boat land. <laughs> I, boat. I want a boat. That's cool. I'm cool with a boat, too. I would have uh, a boat, too. How the fuck this, you get a boat? So, so dust, no, hold on. So, dust of all, boats are fairly important because it's like, imagine, like, Venice, Italy. It's like that. It's all shattered apart. There's all these canals. They go underneath the city into hidden areas. Um, yeah, dude. And you can get to any any place that yeah, way. Some boat. Yeah, I'm cool with the boat. Names didn't even have yeah. to sell me on it. Yeah, let's do a boat. It also says yeah, it's like I didn't even know it was important. It also says we can upgrade it and put armor on it, and I like that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> ironclad boat. We're gonna have a drug sub. <laughs> We're getting like the cartel with those drug subs. Oh my god. The electrogasm mobile. <laughs> Those are All two. Right. What else? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it makes us pick like four, it looks like. I thought yeah. we got four from picking a hawkers, though. Like two Yeah, from it, it's hawkers, making us pick two more. Now. Well, that's because people unclicked. No, where'd they go, though? Because one okay, of them was so like I saw, lock or something. I'll, re I'll read this so you guys, I guess it says it over there. Uh, an upgrade yeah. is a valuable asset that helps the crew in some way. Each crew starts with two by default. Choose two additional upgrades for your crew for a total of four upgrades. So you guys, so we should have had. I think it was secure layer and something else. Well, the, we can choose that was whatever just what we clicked on randomly. It doesn't yeah. matter, dude. No, yeah, we can choose. Uh, no, says, there's there's says definitely ones that you come crew, with. It says each crew starts. Oh, it was with the first two, two by default. Go. Yeah, the first oh. one clicked. <laughs> yeah, so those two got unclicked. It probably lets us like <laughs> click and unclick whatever we want just for like debug issues. And stuff. It keeps but closing. We're supposed to start with two. Yes. I don't know why it keeps Stop closing. Clicking. People keep opening. They elect and one person to click. Tony's the one doing it. You can tell. Starting, I would starting upgrades. <laughs> training. Let's try to read something else. <laughs> one person's our clicker. I don't know. Who, <laughs> just have one right. person do it. Right. Okay, so I think it, yeah, I think it was resolved training and secure layers. Yeah, is so you guys have those. Is. And then yeah, and um, then we picked Hawking's. <laughs> God damn it, we picked Hawking's rigging and boat layers. The two okay, we picked. perfect. Yeah, I love it. I want to read the how do we? Yeah, how do we get boat to layer? The... Okay, no one. All right. All yeah, let's read them off. all. Even so boat the stream can read them. Now too. the GM has to choose two factions. Yeah, that's where we're at. if anyone is watching the stream, they got no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> I have no fucking idea. One faction it. helped. Yeah, <laughs> we need to one slow down. Was, I think. Oh, one faction was screwed over with an up when we got the upgrade. You have two you starting coin, up. as it turns yeah. out. So here oh, they are. We've spent one already. 
One carried item is concealed and has no load. For example, you carry a load of drugs or a weapon perfectly concealed for zero load. That's pretty cool. We can always have drugs on us if we wanted to. Yep. If you have a training upgrade, you earn two XP instead of one when you train this XP track during downtime. This upgrade essentially helps you advance more quickly. Secure layer. Your layer is locks, alarms, and traps to thwart intruders. The second upgrade improves the defense to include arcane measures that work against spirits. And boat layer, you have a boat on the dock. Uh, a dock on... Wait, Jesus Christ. You have a boat, a dock on a waterway, and a small shack to store boating supplies. A second upgrade improves the boat with armor and more cargo capacity. Okay, cool. Okay, we so have one, one faction helped you get an upgrade. Um, it says, I choose. So the, yep. the group that helped you... Was the hive probably uh, the so I want to say the silver nails, but I'm trying to look them up. Nope, not the silver nails. Our name's Give me a second, I'm looking through this. Each of us can carry an uh, item. Yes. The the lost. The lost help you. Um, because they they they're a little hooked on your drugs. Yeah, we got the good stuff. Um and I, uh, I think I think that Chucky is maybe uh acquainted with them. They are a group of street toughs and ex-soldiers dedicated to protecting the downtrodden and hopeless. Um, so we just do accept help then? Yeah, they found, if like you us, don't want to... They found me in the gutter passed out one time. <laughs> I, we only got one coin left, so I don't yeah, feel I want to just spend accept it. help. Yeah. Personally. Right. So That's they start I mean. with a plus one with you guys. They're helpful towards you. They don't like go out of their way to do stuff, but... They, uh, it's because they're addicted to our drug. They're helping us. Yeah, and they like Chucky. Yeah. Um, Here we go. So, Chuck. in order to get your hawkers rigging, I think you guys being so daring, foolishly stole from the unseen. Maybe you unknowingly did it. I mean. Sounds like they're hard to know. Yeah. So Sounds an like... insidious criminal enterprise with secret membership thought to pull the strings of the entire underworld. They have a multitude oh, of vice dens, extortion rackets across the city. Oh, virtually where's none realized. Yeah, James is like... Yeah. <laughs> What's that? that? Hey, no, that news. The description sounds like they're the worst people to piss off. So yeah. I would say. <laughs> uh, they're tier four. They're high up. Yeah. They're not the toughest of the tough, but they're a big one. Uh, and that being said, you can probably pay them coin to have them yeah, it says forgive you. One coin to modify them and take a minus one status with them instead. But if I we ignore them. them, we take a minus two. You guys can ignore decide them, stuff dude. without me. In fact, ignore if we them? find them around here, we're going to cut your toes off. So we're ignoring them? <laughs> oh, yeah. Where are they? Oh. Let's ignore them. Should we do it? I think they're all bark, oh. yeah. <laughs> all right. All bark, no bite. You guys are going minus... You guys are... Minus two with a tier four to start. Should we not end with the coin? Yeah, but uh, no, you guys can. Gonna... And I think they're also a tier four. Yeah, that that is true. Uh, so you guys are just starting off these. ambitious and daring above, well above your pay grade already. Uh, so, right. so um, yeah. having thinking, having thinking. extra coin to start with is a good thing. It's not oh, okay. bad. Coin is how you um, upgrade your tier of your crew and that's how you like advance to be better you can get cohorts and upgrade your layer and all the stuff so yeah never mind. coin yeah. is good and also Beautiful. that's how you can buy stuff you can use spend coin to get an additional downtime so you can reduce more stress and thing coins important to have in the game cool. uh yep. did someone leave to go do something quick cool did did yeah okay what do you go to do well, if he's, uh, I'm going to go pee really quick while he's gone then. Yeah, same. Back. Well, I guess it's up to us to pick our contact. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm picking Marlowe or Hoxley. 
I like Hoxley. He looks cool. I like Hoxley too. I like Anya. Anya. <laughs> Anya. Perhaps I'm going to say if you guys choose Hoxley, he is he's part of the the Hive Guild and is secretly a smuggler for him, like a lower lower ranked one. He doesn't have much pull with him. He's but like you guys that. have gotten in with them um what what did you say james already like... created backstory for coxley i like, coxley. For what? I like Lydra too she looks cool for a contact man come on catch her. yeah she's deal broker Bro, yeah so I was, i'll, I'll keep repeating it as each individual person gets back but i said <laughs> with if if you guys choose hoxley you guys are like friendly with the hive you have a plus one so you guys are on Okay, terms. Maybe Hoxley is part of the hive, like as a. Oh, you guys are picking him already. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, but he's he's a a low ranking member of the hive, and that's how you guys kind of got in with him. He maybe tried your stuff, your exquisite goods, and he wants to help you guys get known around the city. Okay. Having a a deal broker as a friend isn't a bad idea either. That's kind of uh, little Leo's job anyway. I would say. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, but Oxley, magistrate. Would, yeah, I, think that'll I mean, all, all of them are good in their own. If you have Laroe as a blue coat as your person, that's a good way to like help get inside information. Yeah, Just or Lidra what... sounds good to try to get deals started. Yep. Yep. Is Marlo? I think we should do. Hoxley. You said I kind of was doing Lidra's thing though. Is Marlo uh, the leader of the hive? Marlo is not the leader of the hive now. Right. He'd, he'd be like a gang cell boss, maybe. Oh, yeah. Man. Just the leader of like this area. I think Hoxley's a good one, so we can he can be our yeah our supplier. Like we need smugglers to supply us our goods. I think he looks cool too. He does. Where do Where do you guys think you found the good stuff? Why is yours so much better than everyone else's? Uh, because of a contact we, I have back in the Dagger Isles. Or, uh, is that, does that I work? I was going to say because I'm or a whisperer maybe... and I can find the undead to. Harvest. So Hoxley travels the Void Sea to the Dagger Isles for you sometimes and gets gets you a little a small amount of your spark. Who's the guy from who? Which one of us is from farthest away? Uh, Tycheros is the farthest away. For yeah, sure. I'd be the farthest. Maybe that's I'm from Servos, which is like from? a land of undead, basically. I don't know. How does Spark work? Some type of you... Spark? What do you think happens when you... Uh... How's are it we made? Sp- are we Spark smugglers? Is that what we do? Or Spark yeah. dealers? Yeah, yeah it's just got the coolest name. Otherwise, he's going to go through it again that we can do other drugs or make no, up our no, own no, drugs. No, 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 no. I know. I'm hey. just... Fucking calm down. Crack. <laughs> Sorry. How does it go through the map? How's it made? How is it made? Uh, so, you know, like I talked about Leviathans. They're these demonic presences they're that, from their that blood. live in the Void Sea. Yeah, so basically the Leviathan hunters go out to sea. They come back with these massive containers of Leviathan blood and electroplasm, and, and then it's refined, and it's used to power the city. There's this these massive electrified towers that go around the city to reduce the population of roving spirits outside of the city is what's called the Deathlands, and that's just where like spirits and crazy monsters roam free. Uh, but that's why inside the city is decent, because they have How these... How is the spark created yeah. from that? Uh, the then... spark is just refined through a different process. There's lots of refineries around the city okay. that turn electroplasm into different things, you know, it condensed yeah. into small forms to light lanterns to make big towers. Uh, they've and that you guys can decide how what the yeah. process is for that, you know. Okay. So yeah, the, the leviathans around Tychorus are just built different. Then, so the hunters <laughs> there have like a different quality of material to work with, you know. So we get yeah. shipments from there. Stronger from my blood. contacts from my from like my family contacts, you know. And so the stories about them being like half demons is because they actually fucking battle like doper ass demons than this place does and people here just freak out. <laughs> no, they, they fuck the demons. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's canon. <laughs> the Leviathans swimming in a sea of inky 
Nothing else. Right, yeah. Hoxley's fine. Can you guys see what I just typed, or do you guys all have different stuff up on the screen? I don't um, see. Any. I just see a smuggler. Oh, no, it came. Oh, yeah, it, it updated. It's a little bit. It just takes a little while. A smuggler in the hive, lower ranking, takes ships to Tecros for the hive, and comes back with small amounts of high quality spark for the electrogasm. Nice. Um, two factions that were affected by this contact. Uh, do you guys, I think that he maybe tells the hive about about your guys' goods along, you know, you're, you're just ever growing your popularity with them and we'll choose an entirely different faction other than the unseen that are affected by this. Maybe another seller. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll go with we'll go with the the lamp blacks. They they sell they sell some. They have a few spark dens in night market, and they you they you don't even have a spark den, but they have heard rumblings of your name selling this high quality spark, and it's upsetting them. Good. 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 Fuck them. Got the good stuff. I kind of, it's kind of funny that, like, you kind of have to, like, no matter what, you just kind of fuck over some people. All right, a crew name. What was it? Uh, Didn't we decide that? Yeah. yeah Electrogasm? Uh, yeah. Two people decided <laughs> it. I don't know. I thought it was like, Ecto. Strongly <laughs> against it. <laughs> Wasn't it Ecto? I thought it was. No, I think it's Electrogasm. Yeah, it's whatever the damn fucking word is. Because we're about the spark, underwater you know? hand, the underwater oh. ghost, the murky ghost, the dark god's devils. Just all kidding. Right, those are all. I like that one. Tigers. Dark Scott, the dark god's devils. What? What did you say, Alex? Oh, well, it was like the first thing that came up. Oh, these are crows. Kind of, they're silly. The, the crows hand, The rail divers. The Crows Losers? I don't know. That's what it came up with. The, the God's Dogs. <laughs> the Abandoned Winners. The Dishonorable Hand. My Dead Goat. <laughs> My the Rail dead, The Dead Goats. <laughs> I like that one. I'm, not, I'm good with Dead Goats. I'm actually okay with the Dead Goats. <laughs> the Dead Goats. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> All right. I like that. Oh, that's good. And there's like a zombie goat on our bottle. All right, yeah. finish. Yeah. One's farting uh, a bunch. We're finished. All right, you guys did, did it. With an hour to spare. Fucking Tony's been farting in my face. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot to set that up there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Let's get it with. So what is what is <laughs> your guys' ultimate goal? Like, where where do you see the dead goats going? World domination. The moon, bro. I want to stop. To the moon. Gonna be rich. <laughs> Wildly rich. Yeah, I want to never have you to can't work stop a day in my life. <laughs> Wildly <laughs> rich. Uh, how do you plan to accomplish these goals? Oh, so? uh, like selling over. lots of highly addictive oh. drugs. Yeah. Like taking over the entire city. Yeah, by becoming the largest in your drug dealers of the best spark that this entire city could ever deal with. You get out of um... Yes, I hate this. I'd like <laughs> to find a young wife of a rich mafia guy and steal him away. Yeah, that's that's a personal personal goal. <laughs> now, I don't know about role playing that with you, James. I'd like to get, <laughs> I'd like to get revenge. I'd like to get revenge on that lady that came. <laughs> oh, be sweet, sweet oh. role playing sex to you. <laughs> Come on, man. That's what I'm about. Uh, oh, revenge, <laughs> revenge on Stasia, and that that could be a score you take or a long term project, depending on how you want to go about it. So in this game, I'm sure you guys have seen the clocks. Um, yeah. So. 
So during scores, clocks work as there's a few different kinds you can have. Um, let's see. Having a flashback. <laughs> Back when I was two. <laughs> so, so during scores, you can you can have clocks, and it can be like um, red coats. Or not red coats, blue, blue coats are Oh my god, they've come! The red coats are coming. <laughs> <laughs> the blue coats are revolution so, all over again. Two so, and five feet. So what real quick, to Sorry, dude. Just shut up they for a second, flowers, guys. Dude. <laughs> okay, shut up. Um, uh, so with clocks, so you know how rolls are like six is a success, four or five is has a consequence, but it's success. So a lot of times, rather than things directly happening, it'll be like you roll a four or five, and I tick a clock. A chunk of the pie. Uh, if it's you know a complete fail, it might be two. If it's a desperate action, it might be three or all of them. And then that'll just cause more bad things to happen as you guys fill clocks. You can also have good clocks that are like help arrives or whatever, and that's if you roll well, that kind of thing. Uh, you, it can be defense of an enemy. It could be like this character's extra burly so you have to successfully attack more times so rather than having hp you just tick marks uh there's you know tug of war ones where you can do things to bring the clock down and bad stuff brings it back up i never really roll i do fortune rolls occasionally pretty much everything is based on your guys's rolls and your decisions and then there are what are called long-term projects you make bigger clocks for those, and it can be a, a crew project, or you can have individual ones. Like, So right now you guys get spark from Tykeros, but that might not always be the best way to go about it, especially if you get into a bigger market. You know, How are you going to consistently get large amounts of spark from Tykeros on a regular basis? Do you get a fleet of ships? Do you figure out how to, to get a... Uh, like a maybe uh, what it um, what is your name the leech Chucky could figure out how to refine it himself, given the right raw materials that kind of thing and that's what that's the purpose of long term clocks is to like gather new assets and improve things and also I will um, start clocks for different factions as well and that can result in bad things happening or good things depending on what's going on all right so we're in the night market right whereabouts is our base located uh it would have to be like it i will the dagger that's over here uh, in crow's foot that's what your base is but when we're not playing i'll adjust it and it would be somewhere on okay. the like the any of the canal area that even is within the city. So it, it could be anywhere where you see the dark green color. Where's dark green? I don't think. Well, I found the dick. What? Where are so there's... we? Dark green doesn't make sense. This place we is should red. be a night market. It means yeah. like the rivers or the canals oh. that run through. Yeah. So there's rail tracks. That's oh. like a brownish color, but there, there's, 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 yeah. but there are lines going through night yeah. market as well Let's that see. are so like these lines. Yeah. yeah. What's this dagger then? That's that would be your guys's layer, but that's not where it is actually. That's just where that's I had it a boat. placed. So we got to be put it down there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But so yeah, the. I think I this think, yeah, right next skating. to this park. Yeah. yeah. Well, was, All right. Yes. Like okay. The yellow ribbon. That's what we're next. Let's see. To. What are these red things? Those what are different mean? points of interest. Those are different points of interest. I turned all of them off so you guys weren't just randomly hopping into different levels. When oh, sick. Play, so. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it somewhere over here by all these points of interest. Or what about yeah. this like intersection right where I'm standing? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. yeah it's yeah, good. Over here. It's a cute little. The, we need to be by the water, so we're over here. By the rails. We got water rail and a dock here. Oh, it's it's canal, like yeah, it. Let's go. Is that water? 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, diagonal okay. canal uh, yeah. water. Uh, so river. Right around here. Man made canal. Yeah, we, we got a bolt. All we need is canal access. Canal? Canal. See how straight it is? It's definitely not natural. All right, so, but yeah, you guys choose. It's not natural to be that straight. There's dude. a. There's. <laughs> you can, um, right. <laughs> when you guys' characters are there, I can't click on stuff. That's fun. Out there. Yeah, fuck you. There's, <laughs> there's, a, there's an area in Night Market called the Devil's Tooth. Uh, I will enable the portal Nightmare. so you guys can click on it. And we'll say that that is a spark den. And you guys have an area in the back. I'll put your guys' own um, area <laughs> there when when we're not playing. Because it doesn't really matter more than you guys being able to go in it and play around. It doesn't have any impact on the story. But anywho, um, how did you guys all come to be dealers together well like i mentioned before i'm pretty sure i ran into leo little pretty leo sure i ran into little leo over here in the smoke dip like yep which is just across the bay here yeah it actually works pretty well for us over here <laughs> yep. get all smoked up hey what do you guys do otherwise what else so... do? wait let me get this well, Leo, you got some money, right, from your family? So yeah, and I'm looking for contacts to try to figure something to do here. So okay, I'm and my little friend here, he knows of a guy who makes super good spark. Yeah, dude, I know where to get some stuff. So I think I, I know a couple I, guys who can help us sell this shit. I think my work on ships kind of led me to meeting Koa and the dealer guy. The smuggler guy. Okay. So you and so the the Sokoa and I, I guess, yeah. probably discovered that there's this dope ass spark and we needed to figure out how to what to do with it. And then we met these two guys who were kinda like, Hey, we'll buy some. Right. And we had we to sell buy. it. I'm gonna yeah, say so I just, we'll, how do you we'll, fit in, Will? I was gonna say I just I I I frequented the spark then that are Bases in the back of, and I is there trying to like acquire and sell balls in there and met you guys. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're like the dude who was here. Yeah, that works out perfectly. So he's kind of our tie to that actual spot and how we all. Yeah. Figure out that's going to be the spot. Little we Little to. Leo being a, a spider and a devious mastermind, you know, you guys were coming in there trying to find someone to buy and help supply, and maybe he kind of like pulled the strings to get the whole group together. He knew Chucky was in with the hive a little bit and you guys were in with that or no, with the unseen and that you guys were in with the hive a little bit. And he kind of thought yeah. that there was some alliances being made. And then, uh, yeah, coil was in the same den as you guys trying to get his hands on stuff. And you guys realized that maybe having, uh, a whisper might not be the worst thing as part of your little criminal enterprise you were trying to start up. Especially if we're dealing with like shipments from across the sea and stuff. Yeah, never yeah. know what kind of strange Tykerosi shit's going to come along with that or if, mm. you know, what's going to come on the shipment. James just hurling. It's a bigotry. Adult. Yeah, dude. A man with your sort of talents will surely It's all be very useful. normal to me, dude. It's just a, it's my hometown, dude. <laughs> yeah. Just another walk in the park for me. I'd like to think that we thought of the plan for this little crew as we were smoking some spark outside the back alley. <laughs> some dead Jack. goat. Do you smoke spark or do you <laughs> shoot it up? I you have to smoke it. that <laughs> I don't touch it. I don't do I think you, you well, smoke it if you're hardcore. I think of everything <laughs> that I smoked in, man. Come, comes in both liquid and, and crystallized form, depending on how it's refined. How, do, how, does, how does dead goat come? Liquid. Uh, liquid, yeah. So it's just like... What's more potent? It's like goat blood. Wait, wait, wait. Dead goat is pruning. I thought we were I like the... calling the shit electrogasm. <laughs> oh. yeah, like, electrogasm? <laughs> I like it as oh, a rock. Rock's like way safer to transport than liquid. Yeah, and it's, it's cooler. cooler. I, think I thought rocks... liquid's cooler. I would, well, we guess, could, I would also gold. guess that rock yeah. is probably more potent. Yeah, but maybe you guys... Liquid just be kind. Whatever your preferences, we, we got it both for you. We got both of them. Open, 
you open one coat, coat jacket up and there's there's vials of liquid and another one you just got baggies of rock there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It comes in, it comes in whatever yeah, flavor you so want. so funny. Yeah. If they're white, they prefer the liquid. And it's they're darker, they got the rocks. We got the purple stuff. We got the perps. All right, so, so you guys are together as a crew in your back rooms and you guys what, what what are you trying to do what what is it you want to accomplish right now as far as like i'm going do, in the den you guys yeah. you guys don't have a place to sell you probably don't have very much product so what we need to do boys what the, what, how did they do that we they, need to come <laughs> we need to come disappear? up we need to come up with a score Every right page now. is broken. Just wait. Dude, right now. Yeah, yeah we, we need a. We need music a, in the spark band. Have a first sale. Oh my god. Oh, you guys should get in here, dude. I don't know how. We're going going we to the spark band. How'd you get in? Oh, what's up, Chuck? They just. Bro. They went oh, in here. I got y'all. Oh. Oh. Whoop. Hold y'all in. Look at the mood. The music changes. This is so yeah. cool. Oh no way. So sick. Uh, up, it's up, it to really is Barstool. like an old RP <laughs> game, dude. I swear to God, it makes me feel like I'm this playing sucks. like one of the old Final Fantasies. I yep. Guess I gotta sit in a baby chair. <laughs> you got, you got any uh, high chairs there for my buddy? <laughs> what are those I'm called? Fucking regular here. Bro. What? I'm kind of small too, man. I didn't realize it made my guy so small. When I ate him. <laughs> Just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> oh, no one just says we're like freakishly tall. It's just that you right. must be small. So just a no, 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 Oh good, here, I'm gonna go use quick in the corner. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> you, bro. Literally everyone's tall. Why do they have an average height if no one's average? Everyone's <laughs> tall. Uh, Akarosi are large. Uh, hey, let me talk real quick. Uh, so, the score. Oh, these, oh, oh, sorry. A score is a single operation with a particular goal. Burgle Lord Stranglefer's Manor, assassinate a Severosi diplomat, smuggle a strange artifact from the Deathlands and the city, etc. Usually a score will fall into one three categories or one of three categories. A criminal activity, determined by your crew type, seizing a claim that you choose from your crew's claim map. Claims help your crew grow and develop. Um, you can look at your crew page and see what kind of claims you can get. A special mission. Uh, that is like where you try to get, you know, a particular item to help you or maybe fall, you know, maybe after you guys get to know each other better, uh, Chucky is like, hey, we need to take out this lady that killed my goat. Again, if we're going to call ourselves the dead goats, we got to avenge my goat. James, part of my character is those are up to dead goat right away. So we can... I might not have. I might not be talking about revenge yet. They do all know that my goat by that lady. <laughs> we, so we can claim land or something, or how's that work? Yeah. So if you go, if everyone goes to the crew sheet, you can click on, or no, actually, just scroll down and go to claims, and you can look at it and see there you have to follow one of the the paths coming out from your layer wait what did you go to the the crew page oh, the one that says hawkers and then scroll down yeah until you see the squares in the middle of it at turf personal. like crew tier heat wanted level scroll down i just see it just goes to the characters and then that's it Oh no, click click where the ho so if you hover on the right hand side of the dead goats, it says open crew sheet. Oh sorry. Okay, sorry. And then once you're there, scroll down a little bit and you'll see the 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 uh do... claim layout. Yeah, we should do local graft, I think. Get a little money in early on. Plus two coin for a sure of show of force. Or so <laughs> Oops. What about or surplus caches? Do, yeah, or we or, can do surplus cash. 
I voted Ooh, to I do like... one of those before expanding the hunting ground. Plus two coin for product sailor supply. Yeah, let's do surplus caches. I love that. You, you have to travel back. Or maybe you guys want some turf. Maybe you guys take over uh, uh, maybe. a... Maybe. I personally yeah, I want to wait to do turf, but... Okay. That's I just... my, that's and my hunting vote. grounds as well. Well, because how much do we have to sell in two or three blocks or three or four blocks? Yeah, so you guys like just sling on the corner essentially at this point. You guys post around and are just... Or maybe you go into different different buildings and night market or different you know there's also like stalls out in the city and whatnot little open so, markets maybe you guys just wander around there and just kind of you know like drop little baggies to people and they fit you a little bit of a couple couple silver pieces here and there for it so can we like choose to go sell drugs right now instead of doing a score or so uh, that, that would, would be a score in itself that would be oh. surplus, technically surplus cash, because it says plus two coin for product sale or supply. Oh, yeah. so that's us going out and selling. Yeah, and then local I graft is show of force or socialize, so it can be either of those. And then turf yeah. expands hunting. You want to go beat so. up the local gangs, or do you want to sell? Like maybe clear our area of any other Take drug dealers. Would Take that be like local spot. graft? I want to do either yeah local graft or surplus supplies or cash before. Turf. before turf so james yeah. if we did if we did local graft would that be like us fucking up local guys or how does that work or just like talking to them to like uh, you know striking deals yeah, maybe says, or socialize so yeah. so that's that's a that is a bonus you get from having that that you don't you don't get two coin for completing the score you get coin for the score itself but then when you do scores in the future using show of force or socializing you get an additional mm. two coin on top of what you get okay let's, let's do surplus cool. then yeah, well, that's I still like plus. both of them. I, yeah, would plus would be good to get <laughs> I like product sale let's, let's, go, let's go sell yeah that. let's do product sale we'll do surplus surplus cash hey so surplus, so, so surplus caches or caches, however you want to say the word, uh, okay. is, is would be more like you go steal someone's spark, or maybe you guys find a way to get a larger shipment in, or hijack a different shipment. Ooh, okay. That's what. That's, I, that's what. That's why you get a yeah, plus two coin more... for product sale because you have a larger amount. Need more supply. I see. Okay, let's go get some surplus caches. Uh, or, but uh, how, how does anyone feel differently? Should we do? I'm, with I'm down with that. I like it. Caches. So now you guys, you guys have what you want to do for your score, but you need to gather some sort of information to know where that surplus is. You guys all have your own individual people that can help you. You have yeah. uh, your guy f that works with the hive that could potentially help you, Ho Hoxley. Uh, there's different ways you can go about it. You guys, this is free time, so you're all allowed to role play and go do different things. You guys aren't always at each other's hips. The whole city is yours to explore and do what you will. You guys can all have your own little bits of role play here and there, whatever you want to do. Or you guys can unanimously decide to all go find Hoxley or something. Whatever it is you choose to do. But I'm just letting you know that that's, that's how scores work. Sometimes things will happen where I'll have people approach you friendly or unfriendly. And they'll say you have to do a job or they want you to do a job. That kind of thing. And then whether you do it or not will be reflected in how they portray you or perceive you in the world. Yeah. Or like reputation or whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well. Well. So we've decided here at this place that our goal is to go secure more electroplasm to sell. So sh should I? <clears throat> I stop shooting up. Hey, let's come I over to this it. table. Come over to this table so there's not a lot of people around us. Here, you want another one? There's one floating by my head. Not Ducky, how would you get like a beer? I feel as though we're in need of more supply. Not a beer, it's wine. This is a good start, but we should hit the ground running. If you right click on things, you can 
Uh, I agree. I agree. X to put uh, it down. Here, I, let's oh, is that how you get rid of this thing? Let's God, take. Let's put this I think I'm going to go the table and smoke some. I know a woman at the smoke shop across town here who I like to hit up for information. If anybody would like to go get high, I can <laughs> go get her and maybe talk to her about some, maybe some info. That's where yeah, I'm going. Me, me and little Leo got a job to do. How do you drop shit? Should we, should we go to Traverns? Press X. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Um, we're, going to, we're going to Traverns. I mean, okay, let's go. Yeah. Now don't embarrass me. <laughs> I hang Is anyone not well. coming with us? Does anybody not want to get high? Koa, where are you at? Where are you at? Chirping. Koa's down to clown, dude. No, he's over there. He's way. all the way. He's all the way across the city. Good. He never he entered the place. <laughs> Koa, did, you never, did, did you Will's computer blow up? I think what? Will's dead. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just say. listening. Koa's Dalton. Yeah, I'm cool. All right, well, so we were here inside of our. Let's let's take the canal and over to here. <clears throat> you guys just ride your boat over there, or walk drunkenly with beers and walk, wine. Just and walk drunkenly. Yeah, uh, we're just uh, we're smuggling we're, operations. No, I don't but know. Of, of, as as yeah, far as as the city goes, at dawn and dusk, there is a faint glimmer of light in the sky, but otherwise it's basically like foggy, rainy, dark all the time. Everyone in the city walks by lantern light. You see carriages with goats attached to them pulling the wealthy around. You see, you know, just like piles of fecal matter and stuff in buckets on the street and Whoa. areas. It's very <laughs> dark and gross in this city. Um, What's it like? Oh, it's a lantern. I can make my beard hey there, glow. Cricket, you mind holding my lantern as I take a quick leak inside the <laughs> the lake here? It's just a phenomenally good beer, dude. Yeah, here, I'll <laughs> hold your lantern. Why are you taking a leak in the lake? There's shit on the streets. Just piss wherever you want, man. You're made of <laughs> and plankton. He's one of the good citizens. No, I feel it. It just feels right. Pee in the water. It makes me... I can't it's, pee without water. It's not water. It's like an icky, to... weird... Oh. Substance. I don't know oh, how to I'll drop my beer. X. Great, now there's this giant beer. <laughs> <up>. <laughs> uh, don't mind, don't worry, I'll drink it. I'm All right, everybody, fo <laughs> everybody follow Chucky, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Chucky, lead the way to our contact. <laughs> like I said, don't embarrass me. <laughs> All right, you're, you're going to, to uh, Jenna? Uh, she's in a bar right over here. Well, perfect. We're just we're happy to be right there. Travern Smoke Shop. There. Jenna works oh, at the smoke yeah, shop yeah. I frequent. Smoke spark behind the employee entrance. <laughs> she sells trades information to people she works with. Fuck yeah, all right. Let's smoke yeah. some spark and let's talk. Hello, Leo. How can I help you? Hello, Jenna. She takes a giant drag off of... A Smoke Quite the too. evening we're having this evening, eh? How's business? Yeah. Been better. Say, uh, are you down to make a little extra cash? We, uh, have a big, uh, shipment coming up and we need some inf information. Sure, what, what is it you need? If you're anybody I was with looking those... for an extra coin. You've heard anybody bragging about having a little extra spark around here? I don't know about anything of your caliber. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be our caliber. We can always just mix it and sell it. You know, not uh, as great as before, so. They all of our seat. Well, I might have heard something. Um, it's okay, we get high all the time. So, <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. We're super high right now. <laughs> but what the fuck? Ask the thing, because... I'm not, even though I have syringes I, in my face. I think face. you get pretty fucked up when you smoke this kind of stuff. So, like, so Spark, when you smoke it, it's like, it has this little bits of crackling energy that come off of it, and sometimes if you, like, get a little too much off of it, you, you have, like, little bits of electricity that spark out of your mouth, your hair gets singed and stuff, you can feel the jolt of electricity rush through your veins, and it's just, like, 
an instant energy burst, but it's pretty easy to burn out on. Ah, there's the spark I needed. Oof. And I hand my pipe over to Yeah. Chuck. Give me, give me sparkin', boy. <laughs> Uh, gathering information. Here we are. Uh, some question... Oh, just kidding. So, when you want to know something specific about the fictional world, your character can gather information. The GM will ask you how your character gathers information, as I did. Uh, this is not common knowledge. There's an obstacle to discover this. Uh, so... I assume you're trying to sway her? Is that one of your good good pips? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, so you roll a sway on a bad roll. She might give you a little bit of information, so like a one to three is a little. Oh, no. And so she you, don't know shit. You only had one, one pip on sway? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. For um, a lawyer? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah I, guess I, that's... Could, I could do two on sway instead of command. I'll assist because I can't. I, I've been, I've been smoking her. So if you if you assist, you need to uh, take a stress right away. But yeah, but that's I'm part high. of assisting. I'm... That's just the mechanic of the game, homeboy. I know. I'll do it. I was trying to command her with my personality. Well, I mean, command is like yelling at someone or threatening them. Oh, so. I misread that. Sway is the nice way. If if you uh, I thought like command... force personality was like, you know, your personality. No, so sway is like the nice way of doing it. Commands the mean way. It's the same okay. as like uh, Roger. Oh well, yeah. I'm definitely I'm definitely did that wrong then. Do you mind if I flip them? Yeah, for sure. You can go ahead and switch those around. That's totally cool. We're all learning. Uh, you can also use like any anything you want to try to get your de desired effect. It just might change the outcome. But for gather information, it's basically there is no position or anything. It's just whether it works or not. So you didn't give you the extra dice. I think it just took the better of them. Nothing. No, you still only rolled two dice there, even though he gave you one. It's happening. I'm taking the rest back. Do it. Uh, so mix. So um, she says to you, um, yeah, I. I've heard that um, there's a crew out out on the docks that might have just got a large shipment of spark in. Um, I think I think I heard that it was the red sashes perhaps are starting to get into the game a little bit. They're having it shipped over from from uh, Aruvia, some Aruvian spark. No, it should blend quite nicely. I appreciate the information, darling. And I throw her a bag of fucking spark. Grabs it up. Oh, thanks. I was I always love your stuff. Thanks so much. Oh, for sure, the red darling. sashes. All right, fellas. Uh, she's at the table with us, so you all um, heard. She she says that they've been frequenting a tattoo parlor down there that a lot of the sailors go to. Well, how would you like to approach this then? We could try to sneak in through the tattoo parlor. This is exactly where the score comes into play. So now that you got your information, you're planning for the score itself. Right. All right. Let's plan the score. So, I guess we can go into this. Choose your approach. Assault, deception, stealth, occult, social, or transport. 
Obviously, transport's probably out because you have nothing to transport yet, but all the other ones could work in some way, shape, or form. None of those look are like... sabotage. <laughs> we look like such Deception a green falls into sabotage, but... <laughs> yeah. I think I... What if we just... I mean... We look like such a greasy what if, group. What if we just do social and just convince them to like join under us? Like we just consolidate them and be like, hey, like, you know, um, we'll just like bring them into the operation a little bit, you know, but underneath of us. You guys are tier zero and they are tier two or three. That's going to probably no, 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 be no. pretty unlikely. No, 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 no. I'm just I you can do whatever you want. I'm just letting you know. They're going to want to help us out. I'm good at wrecking. <laughs> They're all green when you click them. I don't know what you're saying. I think that... Are you able to tinker your way into their boat if we pulled our boat up against theirs? Modify just... Traps, locks... As... Because we could try to distract them as you broke into the boat. I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, I'm just not sure. Games just over. Messing. Uh, Tinker's pretty all-encompassing as far as like making stuff, uh, taking apart stuff, getting through locks. Yeah, I'm your guy. Definitely. Yeah, that's like definitely a leech's job, and then they're also good with explosives and stuff like that. Those it just depends how you play them, but I mean that's you I mean, know I they they. To, I wanted to blow up, but yeah, your your plan probably better. <laughs> so, spe I mean, special abilities off the bat kind of give it away. Saboteur, alchemist, analyst, artificer. You know, you can yeah. become a physiker. That's someone that heals someone or is better at healing people. You're, that's just kind of your all-around job is to like be the person that makes and breaks stuff essentially steampunk Dane devito probably makes shit blow up though so <sighs> so you also tinker i got two okay so that's pretty good you guys cool with having him try to break into the boat i'm fine with it so you're mm -hmm. you're going deception or stealth Oh. I mean, yeah, I mean, or what is it? We're gonna would sneak up. Would distracting him be deception, or would that? Or is it that's that's kind of why I'm asking. Cause yeah. It's not assault because you guys are trying to. You just said distract. I mean, it could be. Once that's, this is this is the detail. So, so. You guys choose one of those, and then the detail is how you go about it. And that kind of gets us to the starting point. Then I do what's called the engagement roll, and that gives you your guys' starting position in the score. I, just, I guess I'd assume it's deception, because uh, breaking is kind of like tricking our way in. Or manipulating. That, but deception also gives a social aspect. Wait, I, I could deceive. Okay. Uh, how how do you? So, so who's you want someone to take the boat? Oh, Chucky to take the boat and try to maybe get on their boat and steal their stuff while you guys deceive them and keep them occupied while he accomplishes yeah. this. Oh yeah. Okay. I'd be. On a night on the town? I'm pretty sneaky okay. too. You could yeah, help. I, what are our skills? Them, yeah, you help him take the boat over to their boat then. Like Let me look at its progression, right? That's where we see what we're good at. I'm going to move over. Play? I think it's play. Yeah. Play. Yeah, I can prowl good. Boat crew. Travel unseen. Yeah, so you two should go break into the boat. 
You're kind yeah. of a you're kind of a all around guy, except for your hunt is superior. But you're pretty good at the prowess stuff. Uh, not so good at talky talky stuff. Nah, I'm okay at swaying people, and that's about yeah. it. Which I ghosts are involved. I'm maybe guy. shouldn't have wasted a point in. If you want to go back on any of your pips you guys have, like starting out and understanding how the game works a little more, that's totally cool. We can cool. I'm yeah, it that. Just... would be better for you. Al. I'm gonna do prowl and hunt are my two best things. So that I'm makes total sense hunter. if you're like a slave hunter or a, you know yeah. a hunter of any sort that you would be able to creep around and grab people unnoticed or shoot them in the back when they're not. Uh, I'm not charismatic. So. All right. Uh, so, the detail is distract red sashes at tattoo parlor while Chucky steals goods. <laughs> then you guys get to choose your character's load. Um, so... After the plan and detail are in place, each player chooses their character's loads. This indicates how much stuff they're carrying on the operation. They don't have to select individual items, just the maximum amount they'll have access to during the action. Uh, so, so I think when you guys see the loadouts, it kind of says it's like the what exactly that heavy. means. So for you guys doing the deception, light might be a good idea, because you don't want to go in there armed to the teeth and then have them be like, uh... Why are you guys? Ego light. Also, remember we have the the rigor as a trait, so we can bring in a weapon completely free, like undetectable, and no weight. Light Ego. does. No, oh, sorry. Light That's is just you're less conspicuous. You look like citizens. But yeah, you can have as many zero load items as you want on you, and so with that, like he said, the hawker's rigging, it turns a couple things into those. Someone like Chucky, who's on the boat, he could go in with a normal load or even heavy, but he's slower. Maybe he wants more tools to make sure that he can get in, and then anyone that travels with him, but know that you guys are split apart, so if things happen to people at the tattoo parlor... You know, it's not going to be as easy as being like, oh, I heard bad stuff. I'd run into the tattoo mm -hmm. parlor quick. I say all of us going to the tattoo parlor bring some kind of weapon that we can put, we can smuggle in with our uh, hawking, hawker's rigging. Yeah, it's un it can be, it's undetectable, right? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, it's supposed to be undetectable, zero weight. Yeah, I, you guys should all bring like a pistol or a knife or a yeah, sword. Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. You, you, your blade sort of can of be like, like a side knife. Arm, like a gun or something, yeah. Yeah, but if you guys don't have to choose the items that are in your loadout right now. You choose them as you use them and oh, it yeah, ticks okay. away at your I loadout. Forgot. Uh, yeah, I forgot. I so forgot. You, don't, you don't have to say, I take a gun and this and this. It's like during the score, you're like, I pull out my gun. Bam, tick a load. Uh, mm. I have some okay. fine tools to help me open this lock, tick a load, that kind of thing. It's not you pull everything off the bat and then potentially go in with a bunch of bad stuff that you don't yeah. need. Okay. Will you discuss foresight with me quick? So I took it as my thing. Uh, if you look at the eye, it will describe it too. I know. I know. I, I wanted to talk about the, the specific. Two okay. times per score, you can assist a teammate without paying stress. Uh, so it's it's Tell pretty straightforward. When you assist, you get you give the the teammate an extra dice towards their roll, and you just say how you do it, and if it makes sense. Okay. So, so for like, say when they're uh, breaking in the boat, I can be like, "Oh, I gave the schematic of the boat to them." Yeah. Before, so a, a part of of this game to make planning less long, like it's getting to be, is that. Uh, a mechanic exists in the game not i'm just we're doing this right now so you guys can get this fully fleshed out and understand but a mechanic in this game to make this take less time is you get flashbacks you spend stress and you can say like uh something something bad's about to happen. yeah i set up a trap that actually is a tripwire so that if we 
run down this street and are chased by red sashes, um, I press a little a little button in my pocket that makes it pop up. That's pretty. Uh, that's like a lot going on, so it might cost you more than one stress, etc. But you can do that throughout the thing. It costs automatic stress, but you have some sort of advantage to the situation. Cool. And that's so for your foresight would just be like you get a free flashback, but okay. it doesn't amount to a different outcome. What it does is just gives them a dice. So yeah, like you said, it could be like they're having trouble navigating. I left I left a map tucked under the yeah. seat and they find it just because cool. I thought they might need it. That kind of thing. But anyway, um, you guys have chosen your load. Sure that I wanted to make sure assist didn't mean I had to be physically within distance to help them do it. Like I could, they could be way Yeah, no, away not, yeah, exactly. Know. So it could be exactly like that. Okay. Or, or if you are within sight, it could still be like, maybe you have a, a signal and that, that indicates that it's time to enact a, a plan that you had made prior and that'll be your little flashback or whatever. Okay. And just whatever you can come up with. I mean, that's what this game is about. Just improving on the fly, trying to make every situation in your favor, even though it's going to be hard to make it that way. Out of here, boat boy. So, now that we've done that, I've got to get back to the score. So we've done engagement, the detail, item loadouts. You guys picked your loadouts. Looks like besides the little Leo and Cricket. Why is Cricket's name so huge? Oh, yeah. He's I'll do normal. Still. Okay. So you're going to go... Are you on the boat? Is that uh, what you're saying? Or are you uh, going with... Yeah, I think I'm going to sneak on the boat with him. Okay. We'll cross. So you guys go in with normal on the boat into the canal uh, from your base, and you guys walk up to the docks, or maybe you guys ride halfway there and hop out and go to the docks. Uh, the... the Tattoo parlor is called the Silver Star, and it's frequented by Aruvian sailors. It would make sense that the red sashes are going there. Uh, Aruvian sailors and Leviathan hunters, so there's going to be some some hardy folk in there that have seen terrible things. Uh, now we'll do the engagement roll. Do you marry me? So. Risky. Here we go. The engagement roll is a fortune roll starting with 1D for sheer luck. Modify the dice pool for any major advantages or disadvantages that apply. And you guys can help plead your case on it. Are, uh, are we risky or are we control controlled? Is this operation particularly bold or daring? I'd I say just, so. Uh, yeah. It's relatively bold, They're, yeah. You guys yeah. are We're going, zero going into a tattoo. large tattoo parlor filled with uh, a different crew and sailors and leviathan hunters while two of you sneak into a boat you're not sure of where exactly is that to try to get into their stash. I'd say that is pretty daring. That bodes well for you guys, you daring crew. Does this plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? Um, uh. <laughs> I'm going to say no. Yeah, um, definitely not. Be no. Because you guys don't know if said boat exists. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Uh, we we're going into their like, stronghold almost. And you're going almost? into a well known place that they have many friends. So I'm going to say no. Thinking maybe we should learn a thing or two about them before we like do this, but whatever. We're, we're already in. Uh, Can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insights for this operation? <laughs> Take plus one. Yes, I can. Yeah, that's how we got uh, the info for it. I can use supernatural. That's that's not a friend or a contact. That's you. <laughs> you said you use a, I, I didn't think you said friend. Jenna or gave contact. us the. You said something else. Oh no! Can any of your friends we or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation? Yeah. Yeah, you're Jenna, not a Jenna, friend or a she? contact. You're one of us. Jenna not told a us about it. That you're that you're loosely the using the term. You guys might not be <laughs> friends. I don't know, but friends or contacts I, 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 are I, 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 I mechanical things in the game. But uh, can't contact, I use my friend's she? ghost? Is she uh, not technically a friend, though? Yeah, Does the my, friend my best friend's a, a ghost. 
does the friend who told us about this not sure if you want to if if you plan to (laughs) use stress in this in this to call for a flashback or something involving your ghost friend then i will give you the bonus day yeah i'm not gonna do that (laughs) okay does the lady we talked to doesn't Uh, no, because that was just a simple gather information. You guys didn't even get all the information in the first place. So that, I know, that... we definitely <laughs> don't have this benefit because we did not ask anyone for any shit about this. So nope, we don't get this one. Okay. Are there any other elements that you want to consider? Maybe a lower tier target will give you plus 1D, a higher tier will give you minus 1. Maybe there's a situation in the district that makes it less or more risky. Nope. Uh, they are they are higher tier, but I'm they don't know that you exist, and I don't think that what you guys are doing makes it any more risky. You guys flying are going in, under the radar. in, yeah, you're flying in under the radar, going in just as like tattoo parlor people yeah. trying to get some tattoos. I'm and... going and ask for a tattoo. All right, that's not supposed to distract them because they're going to want to give me a tattoo. And I'm going to ask everybody in there to help me choose my t- first tattoo ever. Do you think the same people guarding the boat are the same people who give tattoos? <laughs> I mean, I'm well, if they're in the role. tattoo parlor, they're not guarding the boat, are they? There's our spider. We need plans. <laughs> you would think uh, they would delegate. Oh, no. It's, right, but I mean, I'm only going to be able to distract who's present. <laughs> screwing us. Right? <coughs> I'm just saying. give us time to prepare. Said, hey, let's go. And then penalize us for not planning. No, oh, I mean with the dice. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm... <laughs> now it's just bitching anyways. I was just trying to... All right. James. The engagement roll determines the starting position for the PC's actions. How long does that hold? Does the situation stay desperate? No. Once the initial actions have been resolved, you follow the normal process for establishing position for the rest of the rolls. So, I'm going to say you guys make it to the front doors of the tattoo parlor. You guys can move up the map to the docks. Uh, all the way top left corner, not white crown. Hi, guys. Oh, wait. I thought the boat was down here. Oh, yeah, you can't walk through the city. You have to take the boat. Go back. <laughs> My little lady. <laughs> I forgot the boat. <laughs> Do we have a boat graphic? Can you transform into the boat? Oh shit! Um, I bet there's probably a boat graphic somewhere. I don't know how to get to it, but shape shift. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Hold on. Can I ride it? The boat has syringes. <laughs> oh, no, it makes me over it. <laughs> I mean, if I could be over it, it'd be so Everything we do has syringes following us. It's just carrying them still. Oh, wait. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. Okay. Well, that doesn't okay. give you a shit. We got a rowboat. That's probably more like our boat. Wait, wait. A gondola. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Now it's just a scale. I like that I just can... yep. Scale it down. Scale it down so it fits. Well, you guys want me to get smaller? So you go effects. That's this is a really big bummer. I can't be on top. <laughs> uh, here you go. You're like standing in the right spot. Uh, but I, yep. can't use, I can't use chairs. Yeah, wait. Rotate all the way upside down. <laughs> now we can... <laughs> true. Now we can stand in the boat. <laughs> Yo, it's part of it. You guys aren't even in the... Why does it so okay, to click on these pins? Uh, that's the best. The pin is like I can't constantly cover up. up either. Alright, that was awesome. <laughs> Alright. Who's penis? <laughs> Who's pair of scissors? I can also be a sneaky boat. You guys can barely see me. Ooh. I'm a ghost boat. It's a ghost boat! Ah, dang it, you beat me. It's the flying Dutchman. Alright. I got Alright, so anyway, you guys you guys rolled desperate for your starting position. So you guys um, advance towards Ink Lane, which is this this large area of 
the docks where there's all these different tattoo parlors. And what's known about these tattoo parlors is that Leviathan hunters, they go to them and they get these special glowing tattoos signifying that they're Leviathan hunters. And it's believed that extra, there's ink injected with electroplasm. So they have these bits of electroplasm coursing through their body and it makes these cool glowing tattoos and stuff. Oh, that... um, so you see, you start approaching the, the silver star, which you know to be the Aruvian one. And you see right outside clear as day a handful of red sashes and they eye you guys up and down and immediately you see them tensing up and they stand in front of the doors to the building I'm gonna go up and be like hello my friend wants a tattoo here and I'm gonna grab Coil shove him a little bit (laughs) Hold on a second. Oh. We still we still got the boat the boat too. There's two different facets to this. You guys are actually um, down down here down here. Ah, uh, where Ah was for a second. I'm trying to move oh. this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, keeps getting bunkhouse row. Away. Things fucking in... so bunkhouse big. Row. Oh yeah, bunkhouse row. Very mid. Little Leo got small. Next time Little you're Leo. in the boat. You guys are at oh. Bunkhouse Row. Um, <laughs> Chucky and Cricket, you guys go down the canals back behind and you guys try to sneakily pull in there but a few Leviathan hunters are coming off of a, a little uh, cabby gondola. They they see you for a second. They don't pay any mind. Um, as you approach closer, though, they are talking to a couple red sashes and pointing down in your direction. And that is your desperate start. We're going to start a four-segment clock called the red sashes no something's <laughs> up. you guys die on the boat immediately first mission I got bombs. even if we fail the first mission you guys here we go it was good knowing you it was an honor serving with all of you i'm okay with this i think we're ready we're just gonna trick them all the so you guys want to call it for the night, or you guys want to try to do this? I'm down. To oh. Go a little bit longer. I, I mean, how much of a time commitment is it? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably. I think I have that long. In me. All right. That's fine. That's kind of why I was trying to get here and get it all set up. Yeah, this is perfect. So we'll start yeah. off with the heist beginning next oh, round. I'm not gonna. <laughs> this is good. You did good for us. Wait, I want on the boat. I want to no, be a tiny man now. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a I boat. I'm a man. Out of my drugs. So, so how this will work when we start next time is it's much like a D and D or something. But without initiative, you guys, you guys will all get to take individual turns or work together in group actions. But everyone gets a chance to do something. It's not just like one person can spend 20 minutes doing one thing. It'll be like, you get an action, you get an action, you get an action. Or a flashback or whatever you want to do. And when we start, I will go into more of the things you can do while you're playing during the score. Perfect. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think I got it. You think what? I think I get it, but here we go. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> That's why I was screaming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just put it on repeat. Uh... Ah! That's such a good way to end. <laughs> oh, uh, you're really packing. Hey, thanks. 
<laughs> All right, fellers. That was fun. Right. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good night, guys. Right, later. Boy. Oh, yeah, I got it. Watching.